is windy out this morning. It is windy out. Got myself all backed in here. Got a little bit more hay to get out of this uh, corner here. I thought I had a flat tire, but it's just the way that it looks. So, get the rest of this out of here. Mm. And uh, go see what the day brings. Got some extra twine to throw away. Ooh, hey, that had that had moisture on it. Right there. Had a little bit of ice. I didn't think it got that cold last night, but there's a good layer right there. Okay. Can't believe. Mm. Huh, okay. Okay. I guess it did freeze last night. I didn't I didn't think anything of it. Oh there. Got it all cleaned up. That uh yeah, it took my light away, but I'd rather get it all in one load rather than a uh, horse around with two loads because we got a lot to do today. We got a lot to do today. I don't know why, but for stuff like this, I just, I don't know, prefer low range. I don't know. I mean, all I'm doing is just going, is on the flat ground and going down the hill. So it's not like I'm hurting the machine. I, I don't know, maybe, maybe I am paranoid, but I, I guess it's better to be paranoid about stuff like this than not be. Eh, who knows? So I think I got this figured out. I'm gonna show you guys just, you know, on these 835Rs, what, um, okay. So you say we're going down the hill. We were in low range. We'll turn the four wheel drive on. It helps slow you down. Okay. Now let's try something. Let's try putting in low range without four wheel drive. Okay. It'll not, it will not slow you down. Okay. It won't because the four wheel drive um, acts like an engine brake when it's over I think it is like 1800 rpm hmm maybe it's not a steep enough oh you know what it's not a steep enough grade that's what it is it's not a steep enough grade Oh, we got a cow peak that just peeked over the fence.
Okay, so that's where I want to be. Um, oh, you know what? I guess I will put you guys up here to watch me put the hay in. Should have just left you where I've had you. go back in the backfield and wipe my bed out that's terminology for a clean the bed out so um i guess that's what i'm gonna do so i can use this thing to haul other stuff if need be today well i'm still not even done with leaves as far as cleaning them up uh i don't know how well you guys will be able to see but I got all them in the backyard to do and i uh, kind of down around the pond here and all that kind of get them cleaned up so they don't go making a mess in the pond um, uh, because we're supposed to get snow tomorrow okay we're supposed to get snow tomorrow yeah i mean it's after thanksgiving it's a lot of snow I've never seen the snow before Thanksgiving. Um, it was just a little dusting, but like I said, I'd rather have a clean bed. That way I can eat, uh, do whatever I need to. I guess they did put pads underneath these to help quiet the vibration. And just like that. Probably so it didn't rub on the frame. Be my guess. We got some important stuff to take care of today. So what did that ballast come out of there? I got no clue where that came from. But um, it came out of somewheres. Oh, we might have to try that. Ooh. Oh, man. Woo! Comes on with the pull thing. Oh, my goodness. Huh. 
Ow, that hurts. Man! That is cool. Eh, you know, can't have the best of both worlds. I mean, yeah, you gotta have that on for that to come on. But, hey, at least we got like twice the light back here now. I mean, look at it shine off that truck. Cool. I just had to, I just had to turn it on, you know, the, the, the kid in me is still coming out. When I see something new and shiny, I gotta go push every button and blow the horn, the backup alarm if it has it, and yeah, like I was saying, we got some, Important things to take care of. Gotta take care of the pigs. Got to, um... Yeah, so that was the old ballast. That was the old ballast that come out from underneath east that overhang because that never worked. Okay. Um... Like I was saying, we got pigs to play with. I got some heaters to figure out in my, for my chickens before winter time, um, tomorrow anyhow, or tonight, I think it's supposed to get down to like 15, 20 degrees for the, um, 27th of November. So you guys will be seeing two videos a day. Until I get caught up. Um, you guys have already seen them anyhow. So, um, yeah, let me finish breakfast. And we'll get on with our day. I mean, just this one light up here is so bright to where. These lights up here don't even do nothing, okay? They don't even do nothing. They just, they don't. It, just that one light, just that one LED light puts off that much light. And I'm thankful for it because you can never have enough light. I got to set... Another hot plate up and another plastic water. The cats had uh, Thanksgiving leftover turkey, so um, didn't you? Didn't you, Miss Kitty? Huh? Didn't you? No, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Huh? You had Thanksgiving. So, um. We got to set the bricks up in here because I don't have heaters in this here, okay? I don't have heaters in here yet. We might just clean this all out. We might clean it all out, start from scratch. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do with this. Is just do that because it's uh, easier to do it that way. And then I gotta come in here, and I hope you guys didn't make a mess out of that. Come in here. I hope that thing stayed. Looks like it did. It looked. Yeah, it did. Good deal. Okay. So. I can't figure these out for the life of me. Um, the other one over here, you guys are doing good, is this thing here. We might come back and play with this. I got mad, threw it down, didn't break nothing, but, um, oh, dry up. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to figure that out. Maybe sit down and take some time to do it. 
shut this door. Of course, why'd you guys put a shovel there? There, keep the heat in. But like I said, we'll come back and play with that a little bit later. So I had a thought. I was going to put straw on the outside of this. Just go up to about here or so because just they can still get air over there and right there. Just, I need to try and get this place ready for winter. I, I need to. Now there's a hydrant over here that, I don't know if Dad might have put straw over it already. No, I need to do that. I need to take and uh, put straw over this before it freezes, okay? Because there's a valve down inside this guy, underneath that disc blade, okay? And it, um, you take this tool, and that is how you shut the water off. If there is a water line break, into pig pen uh you come out here and you shut that valve okay if um that valve gets froze it gets broke and um so then you got major problems but you know that's why you try and prevent you take time and um you get prepared for the cold so that way um, you don't have to fight it when it does come. Hi, piggy. Huh. Hi, piggy. What you doing? Is you talking to your neighbors? Yeah? Is you talking to your neighbors? Yes, you are, aren't you? You big thing, you. Huh. Come here, you. Huh. What, well, do you want some attention, too? Huh? You want some attention, too? So I don't know what made me decide to go back to the shop, change out them boots for something better, because, well, I know I just oiled them this past weekend. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, it's like that oil, it's like a preserve, or pr protectant, but I just, I don't know. I just want to keep them as long as I can, and utilize them muck boots down there because that's what they're designed for is muck and stuff like that there that's more better or more like it now we can play in the schnooks i guess we don't need the broom out by the dryer no more we need it in here worse than we do out there because the worst thing for a broom is when snow and Moisture gets on the bristles and everything. It just makes a mess. Well, so I started to clean out underneath Fairland crates, but the pit is full. So, um, he's like, it'll have to be tomorrow. I'm not going to be here tomorrow. I have things to go take care of that need done. Um... So I'm not going to be here tomorrow. Need to get the 4020 started. Start that gator. Oh, you know what? We'll start the 4020 because we got to move the gator. 6120 is going to get the forks put on it. Um, just so we can use it to um, unload feed with because that is what is required to move one ton of feed. That little John Deere just don't quite have it in it. Um, it would be nice if it did, but... Um, oh, 
fit. Come on. There you go. There you go. You made it. smoky smoke on this one just from that one on we'll just take it over here and let it idle get that grinder out of here got that all ready for when dad comes back um he can use that tractor because I need that skid loader. Since that pit is full, I'll just have to dump all the manure in the dirt bucket. Get rid of it that way. Got everything put back in this building where it belongs. Got everything all put away in this building. Got the feed supplements all behind the grinder. Didn't really get too carried away. Putting the thing in here because, well, it don't need to be crammed back in here. So, got the manure all cleaned out of Farrowin House. Got them all taken care of. And that group over there at the far end, too. So, I guess now we can uh, go clean the hen house out. And it's only like. 10 to 10 o'clock I'm making good time oh it's trying to snow oh my it is trying to snow no it's not trying to snow it is snowing <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it there coming from the the dark building but it's snowing just got done taking a break come in here 
see if this is working. No. No, the water's cold. So maybe it must have been shut off. I don't know. But that, that was cold. I don't know, maybe I won't have to, um, put straw here. I don't, I don't know. I don't, maybe I'll just let it alone. I think I will just do that. Let it alone that way. Well, that looks better. Got all the manure cleaned out. Three load, three wheelbarrow loads. Just took and dumped it over there for right now because um, I can't get pushed to a wheelbarrow back in the corner back there where it should be. So I just one, two, and then three. Let's see, did I flip that switch the right way? I sure did. I sure did because, you know, it is warm now. Well, warmer. Good. I would kind of like to have my hot plate back. So I'm going to fart around with this thing and see what incarnations I can make happen. I'll just use one of these. Um, because I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I just... Maybe I do know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, what do we got that going through? I don't know what he's got going here. Uh, my brother-in-law. Oh, you know what that is? Oh. Okay. Well, that just didn't make things easy. So I'm guessing you take and you fill that with water and you maybe take this guy. And you somehow... I see there's a notch right there. Hmm. Maybe like that? Maybe? And that way is off. And then that way is on, maybe? I don't know. We'll have to get it full of water. And, um, make sure we got our heating element out, well out of the way. But I'm not a fan of this plastic stuff. I'm just, I'm not. I don't like it. Because it just makes things that much more prone to breaking, if you know what I mean. Um, and... I don't want to be the one responsible to buy him a new, um, cup, or, uh, yeah. So I'm going to see if I can get this. If I can, great. If I can't, well, then, um, I guess we'll just have to wah, go back to the drawing board. How did that? Yeah, that goes on the outside. Just like such, and we do just like what we talked about. Oh, these are pain in the butt. I don't like them. Because when you fill them with water, it makes this up here. It makes this do funny things where it won't um, 
seat right on that thing, which... Oh my goodness, I think I got it. Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to take... It's a mess. It leaked a lot more water than I anticipated. So that one's going to need filled. And it's the same deal. Ah, uh, what in the world just happened? I don't know, this is a screwed up setup. Whatever, it's not mine. I'm just told to, um, oh, take care of the birds for a while. So, yeah. Anyway, I might have to do some readjusting with these bricks. I like to keep the cords in the back of the machine or the back of the base. I think that'll work. Hmm. Yeah. I think that'll work. And then it just... Where did my... They're not quite gonna reach. Nope. Darn it. 
kind of at a standstill right now. I cannot, I cannot find that cord for the life of me. I just, I don't know where it could have got to. Man, I was doing so well just motoring, moving on through, get my work done, and then boom, I hit a snag. I hit a snag, so I'm going to have to get some advice later as to where that cord has gotten to, because that light has its own cord. Dirty uh. tons not in here. That's right. Put it in that building. Got that all covered like it should be. Need that 3010 to move that 30 foot green head into the shop. Forgot it was in this building on the other side of the John Deere 7200. Okay. I forgot we put it here. That's when we unhooked the corn head. But, you know, stuff happens. No, I'm not in my 50s or anything like that. It's just, you know, you forget once in a while. And that is okay. So, I wonder if this thing is going to start. Probably. That shut off is so much easier now. I let up on the key too soon. My fault. Oh, starts just like it's supposed to. Let's get that thing charging right away. Heavy duty battery cables does to a tractor when you go to when you go to need it. Since we got that thing out, it's going in the shop. Need to move that 7200 out of the way because oh. Uh, he wants to put the snow blade on tonight. Ain't gonna snow that much, but only three to five inches. So I guess we will start stuff up. And, uh... Start stuff up. Move it out of the way, because he'll probably want to put his blade on this afternoon. Go ahead and cycle that twice. And hopefully it... We'll start. Kind of maybe thinking now I should have got a plow for this thing. Maybe. I don't know. Don't want to hurt the front end. But. It is what it is. We'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.